How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Um, you've taken over a year out since your last fight against Kiko Martinez. What lessons have you learned from that that you can take into this fight? Um, I think, you know, just life in general, life throws stuff at you, and uh, I've had a lot to deal with this year, but, you know, it's been an up and down year, but I've turned it around. I'm in a big fight, I've got a few things sorted outside the ring, and uh, I'm just looking forward to fighting. Weight was an issue for you in that fight with Kiko, and even in fights before that. Now up at 130 pounds, how are you feeling yourself? How have you felt in training uh, also? I've felt great. Um, I've never felt so good. So um, you're going to see the best of me on Saturday night. And, you know, looking back, I probably should have moved up uh, to Super Feather maybe two and a half years ago. How frustrating is that for you now then when you think about how good you feel now? If you had done that earlier in your career, maybe you would have felt even better back then. Is that frustrating to, to think about? It is frustrating, but at the same time, you know, you have to remind yourself that you know, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, if I'd have moved up before, I might not have got this fight. And, you know, everything happens for a reason. So we're here now, and that's all we can do. All we can do is control what we control. And I'm going to be uh, in control of myself um, from now on. When this fight was tabled to you, a fight with Michael Conlon, what was it that appealed about that to you to, to make you want to take this fight? Uh, well, there was no other offers on the table, and um, I quite fancied it. I thought, oh, yeah, that's a bit of me, let's have it. And, um, you know, he's a great fighter, he's a, you know, a very skillful fighter and uh, a world-class fighter, I think. And, you know, to, to, beat the, to be the best, you have to be the best, and I want to get up to world level. And um, doing Michael will uh, get me there. The old cliche is a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, and it certainly seems from being around you in camp and also this week that you do seem very happy, you seem content in yourself, and you feel like that's going to translate into a great performance on Saturday night. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've never been so happy, I've never been so calm and you know, relaxed, and you know, I think that's a, a, good, a really good sign, so I'm, I can't wait. I'm buzzing. The Belfast atmosphere on Saturday is going to be a hostile one. There's going to be a lot of people in there screaming against you, but is that something you're looking forward to? You feel like you're going to thrive under that, under the bright lights? Yeah, I think so. You know, at the end of the day, they can't fight for him. It's just noise. So, you know, I'll pretend that the noise is for me. And, you know, a lot of it will be. You know, I've got a few people coming over. And um, I think, you know, Michael Conner is not probably as well liked as, as people think. And it's going to be exciting. And finally, for Betfred, if you could just give a, give us your your prediction for for the fight on Saturday night, Jordan Gill win.